Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. Today we're going to make an amazing, adorable and colorful dessert for the season. You can make this dessert for any day of the year. This is a very easy and tasty recipe with no baking or steaming. You can make this dessert two different ways. One without crust and one with the crust. I am making the crust with the cookies. Please check the description box for the ingredients. We need mainly chocolate chips and white morsels or white wafers or white chocolate. Please make sure there is no water in the containers. The first layer will be with the melted semi-sweet chocolate chips. Add 7 ounces or half a can of condensed milk to the chocolate chips. Stir and microwave for 30 seconds and stir again. We can microwave in 20 and 10 seconds intervals until you dissolve all the chips. Please make sure not to overheat the chocolate. Now we can add 2 teaspoons of coconut oil or butter and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Heat for another 20 seconds. Coconut oil gives a shiny and flowy texture. I always grease the parchment paper. Now we can pour the melted chocolate to the setting dish. You're going to have hard time to set the chocolate layer if you add water to the batter. Try to use a little oil or butter to thin the consistency. We can slightly spread the batter with a spatula. You can keep in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes to set the first layer. Now we can melt our white morsels or white chocolate. Add 7 ounces of condensed milk and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and we are going to repeat the same process as we did in the chocolate chips. We always have to make sure not to overheat when we use the microwave method. We have to go by 30, 20 and 10 seconds increments when we microwave the chips. We can add 2 teaspoons of coconut oil for a flowy and shiny texture. You are not using any water. Now we can pour 3 fourths of the melted morsels over the cooled set chocolate layer. The rest of the melted morsels are for the coloring. Spread evenly and keep in the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes. We are going to add one or two drops of green food coloring for the green theme. Mix well, spread evenly on top of the set cooled second layer. Let it cool down in the fridge for another 10 more minutes. You can get 16 to 18 decent sized pieces from this recipe. You can see the three adorable colors with the three layers. You can garnish with the sprinkles and chocolate. Now I am going to show you how to make the same recipe with the crust because I like the crunch. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all my viewers and to Alice, Kiwi and Carson. Making the cookie crust is optional. We are using 14 to 16 cookies for the crust. Add 1 tablespoon of brown sugar and 2 tablespoons of butter and pulse or blend until you get the cookie crumbs. Add 1 more teaspoon of butter if the crumbs are too grainy. Keep a parchment paper in the setting dish and we can grease it well. Transfer and press the cookie crumbs. Please keep in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to set the crust. Once the crust is set, we can repeat the same process as we did earlier. I would like to share some tips with you. No water in any containers and no milk or water added to thin the batter. Heat the chips in small increments until you dissolve the chips. 
It is better to use a plastic spatula instead of wire whisk. I know sometimes I used wire whisk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please try and enjoy and please let me know the outcome. I wish you and your family the best St. Patrick's Day. I will see you soon with another great recipe and have a pleasant day.